All right, we're going to talk holdovers. So the movie, if you haven't seen it or haven't heard about it, it is um, based in the 1970s and it is about um, a professor in New England of a prep school. It's just not a college. It's like a high school, um, a, a prep school that is tasked with staying behind during the holiday and Christmas break um, to tend to a group of students that could not or did not have a place to go during the holidays. Um, what I can say is that this movie is so brilliant and so well written. The storytelling is so beautiful. I never once was like, hurry up, get this movie over with. Um, it was a feel good, but also took you on a roller coaster ride movie of emotions. And that's exactly what the point of this film obviously was. Let's start off right away with my guy paul giamatti oh i love him and this just really seals the deal for me of why i love him so much his character paul is um so amazing in this film you get his character you understand who he is as a person in this movie which sometimes movies like this kind of give you this gray area there is no gray area with this character you know and you've met someone probably like this character in your life um and that's what really makes it so great he's brilliant does no wrong in my eyes even before this film now let's go on to dominic sessa who plays angus who is the student that the character paul connects with and um, forms a bond with or that some sort of likeness towards. Um, it, it takes a while in the movie to get to that point because there's a lot that goes on. But this this guy is brilliant too. And this Dominic Sessa is just a chef's kiss. Um, you also have Devine Joy Randolph who plays in the film. Um, her character in this film Again, this goes back to great storytelling and her character in the film was so well placed and needed to be there. Um, overall, I give this movie a five out of five stars. And I will also tell you that right now, my two favorite movies of the year is Oppenheimer and Barbie and the holdovers in my mind might actually be my favorite. So don't kill me because you know me with my Oppenheimer but um this movie was a wow a really great story to, and this is what it is it's storytelling you know Oppenheimer was this you know based on true story and then written this is just storytelling man this is really great writing and um and amazing acting all together so um if you haven't seen it make sure you put it on your bucket list to watch this movie it is definitely worth a watch